Today on MTG Unpacked, it's time to get stuck into another box of mystery boosters for patrons. So we're actually running a bit low on these. I've got, uh, what, two more left and a couple of loose packs from another box. So hopefully these will be reprinted soon because they are a fantastic product. So we're going to snack on eight of these today. So one, two, three there, four and five, and finally, we'll grab three more, six, seven, and eight. Okay, put these back in here, and introduce the patrons. We have Andrew B, Jack of all trades, and he did pretty well this month already, and Logan. Okay, so we will divvy up the packs. So we get one going to Logan and then two going to Jack of all trades and Finally, what do we got five left? Yep five for Andrew B Okay, let's get started the patrons get the rares mythics foils and anything over a buck and If I miss anything, I will catch it during editing and pop those cards in the envelope after the video Okay, so let's crank the lighting a tad here. There we go, get some focus. Okay, starting off with a Snubhorn Sentry, God's Willing, Flash Freeze, Dream Twist, Yargle Glutton of Urborg, there he is, good to see you, La Lagle. Yargle Glutton of Urborg, there we go. Scuttling Death, what the heck is that? Oh, there's some weird artwork in this set. I love it. Gorehorn Minotaurs, Insolent Neonate, Penumbra Spider, Avison's Pilgrim, Abzan Charm, and Burnished Heart. So that one was over a buck. I think it still is Mana Tithe. Okay, so this is an instant. This is from an older set. And the rare is Jin of Wishes. Creature Jin 4-4 four, four, for 5 with flying and spad filled with 3 wish camps on it. For 2 and 2 blue, remove a wish counter from it. Reveal the top card of your library. You may play that card without paying its mana cost if you don't exile it. And a foil, Lapse of Certainty. Alright, so there we are, Logan. And like I said, I'll be checking the prices during editing. So I may miss things here, but I'll catch it later. Next up, Jack of all trades. Let's dig in. I think he actually came back for seconds. He enjoyed the first course so much. He wanted more. Okay, good luck, sir. We have Territorial Hammer Skull. Tarashi's Grasp. That's pretty cool. And Soul Artifact. Fact or Fiction. Ali Strangler. White of Precinct 6. Volcanic Dragon. Enthralling Victor. Lenoir Empath. Desert Twister, Gift of Orzova, Dark Steel Citadel, Brimstone Mage, that's pretty cool, older style border there, and the rare is a Minotaur's Augury. Sorcery 4 8. Exile the top 8 cards of your library. You may put a land card from among them onto battlefield until end of turn. For each non land card type, you may cast a card of that type from among the exiled cards without paying its mana cost. Alright. And a, what is that? Oh, a foil rare, Spell Weaver Volute. What the heck? Enchantment Aura for three and two blue, it looks like. Enchant instant card in a graveyard. Whenever you play a sorcery spell, copy the enchanted instant card. You may play the copy of that, paying its mana cost. If you do, remove the enchanted card from the game and attach Spell Weaver Volute to another instant card in a graveyard. Okay. So a lot of text there, alright, so Jack of all trades, one more pack for you sir, I'm still hunting for that elusive mana crypt, although we have got an absolute ton of nice pulls out of these boxes so far, we have Healing Hands, Youthful Knight, Befuddle, Arcane Denial, and I'm pretty sure that one was over a buck, I'll chuck that in as well, Myers Malice, Fester Creep, it's a nice spider looking thing. Ancient Grudge, Boiling Earth, 
Eternal Witness. Uh, that was from Ultimate Masters. That used to be over a buck. Chucking it in anyway. Invigorate. Shipwreck Singer. Renegade Map. And a Toxin Sliver. Whoa. Check out that artwork. Creature Sliver. 3-3 three, three for 4. Whenever a sliver deals combat damage to a creature, destroy that creature. It can't be regenerated. Nice. <laughs> and another rare here, release the gremlin. Sorcery for X, X and red. Destroy X target artifacts. Create X, 2-2 two, two red gremlin creature tokens. And a foil memnite. Very nice. Okay, so there we are. Jack of all trades. Enjoy the pool, sir. Looks like you did pretty well for yourself already this month. Okay, and finally, Andrew B. We have five packs of goodness here. At least I hope it's goodness. Let's dig into it. Okay, we have a Bulwark Giant, Moonlit Strider, Embodiment of Spring, Triton Tactics, Demonic Vigor. Carrion Feeder, Blow Your House Down, Frilled Death Spitter, Nettle Sentinel, Crawl Warrior, Tower Gargoyle, Herald's Horn, and that one actually I think is over a buck, well over a buck. Put that in there as well. Chatter of the Squirrel, Sorcery for a single green, put a 1 1 green squirrel creature token into play. Flashback 1 and a green, you're getting that whether you like it or not, that is just hilarious. And another rare here, Nin the Pain Artist, Legendary Creature Vidalcon Wizard 1 1 for 2. So for X, blue and red, tap, it deals X damage to target creature, that creature's controller draws X cards. And a foil, Celestial Dawn. Okay, so let's see, next up. And I have no idea how to organize these. I have tried going like commons, uncommons, but. I end up tripping up, so I'm just chucking them in a pile. I'm sure that offends many people. And if it does, too bad. We have Prowling Caracal, Fortify, Dragon's Eye Savants, Portent, Stromkirk Patrol, Seal of Doom, Curse of Opulence, Dragon Breath, Mulch, Scatter the Seeds, Claim to Fame, was from Arrow of Devastation. Thran Dynamo, there is a tasty pull indeed. And rare, Time Sieve, artifact for two, tap, suck five artifacts, take an extra turn after this one. I think we pulled that one last time actually. And Living Death, a sorcery for five, each player exiles all creature cards from his or her graveyard, then sacrifices all creatures he or she controls, then puts all cards he or she exiled this way onto the battlefield. Nice, okay, and the foil is a greater moss dog, creature plant hound, okay, you don't see that one too often. Three more packs to crack, where is the mana crypt? I bought five boxes of this set and we have not seen a single one yet. Okay, we have searing light, rootborn disp dispensers, defenses, frilled sea serpent, your Ruin Expedition, Miasmic Mummy, Ghostly Changeling, Shenanigans, which is pretty much this channel these days, Blood Mad Vampire, Kintree Warden, Hunter's Ambush, Thopter Foundry, I think that one was over but if I'm wrong you get it anyway, Jungle Hollow, and look into my eyes, it's the Dictator of Erebos, Enchantment for five. As Flash, whenever a creature you control dies, each opponent sacrifices a creature. Nice pull there. And another rare, Revel in Riches, Enchantment for 5. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, create a colorless treasure artifact token with tap, sack this artifact, add one mana of any color to your mana pool, and at the beginning of your upkeep, if you control 10 or more treasures, you win the game. And a foil delay. And what is that set symbol? I'm not familiar with that one. If you know, leave a note in the comments. Okay, two more packs to crack. I hope everyone is doing well out there. Staying safe, staying healthy. Alright, we have Feet of Resistance, Slash of Talons, Calculated Dismissal, Academy Journey Mage, Breeding Pit, Thorn of the Black Rose, Alchemist Greeting, Curse of the Nightly Hunt, Lead by Example, Ancient Stirrings, 
pretty sure that one was over a buck. I'll chuck that in. Underworld Coinsmith, Gruel Signet, Hedron Crab, and the rare approach of the second sun. I think I saw that in Logan's pack earlier. Sorcery for seven. If it was cast from your hand and you've cast another spell named Approach to the Second Sun this game, you win the game. Otherwise, put Approach to the Second Sun into its own library, seventh from top, and you gain seven life. This is perhaps one of the most infuriating cards I have played against. And a foil rare Proclamation of Rebirth. Sorcery for three. Return up to three target creature cards with command mana cost one or less from your graveyard to play as forecast five and a white. Reveal Proclamation of Rebirth from your hand. You get to return target creature card with command mana cost one or less from your graveyard to play. All right. Last pack. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Okay, let's move this aside. Get the piles in order. That wants to tip around everywhere. Very good. Okay, we have Abzan Falconer, Adanto Vanguard, Wall of Frost, Memory Lapse, Genju of the Fens. That is a curious looking creature. Cower in Fear, Flame Jab, Rush of Adrenaline, Search for Tomorrow, Overrun. Citadel, Castellan, Frontier, Bivouac, Triumph of the Hordes, I'm pretty sure that one was over a buck. And rare is Spawning Grounds, Enchantment Aura for 8, Enchant Land. Enchanted Land has tap create a 5-5 green beast creature token with Trample, which reminds me, Ikoria Lair of Behemoths next month, fingers crossed. So there's going to be a whole lot of dirty big beasts in that one, and a rare foil, Sundial of the Infinite, artifact for two. So pay one tap, end the turn, activate this ability only during your turn. And you might say, what's the big deal with that? Well, you get to exile all spells and abilities under stat, discard down to maximum hand size, damage wears off, and this turn and until end of turn, effects end. Okay, so if someone was going to hose you right near the end of the game, you can just pop that out and say, I don't think so, sir. All right, there we are. I hope everyone is healthy and safe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.